Howdy folks, Kerbo here, back on No Creek Farms. It's day eight, nice and early, it's still dark out. And I got lots to update you on, oops, a little fast here. Uh, as you can see, I'm bailing straw here on field one. I've already got, uh, I think, six, no, 18 bales in the barn of straw. Uh, I've got about 20 or 24 or so baled. I'm gonna try to get the rest of this field baled and we'll probably store it for future use. Uh, I've been thinking more and more about getting uh, a larger herd, so we'll need a lot of straw. Did some uh, looking. If I get 100 head, we need something like 40 bales of straw a year. So I've about got that now. I'm going to go ahead and finish at least part of this field. Uh, but I really need to get in and do some more hay today if possible. So I'm going to try to do a little patch. Because tomorrow's calling for rain. So whatever I get done, I have to get done today. So busy, busy, long day ahead. The harvest is all done. And in just a minute, I'll uh, pull up some numbers. But, uh, still pretty sure I lost money on wheat. And we're gonna make maybe around 60,000 on the beans next summer if the prices hold out. So that will certainly help. Of course, I forgot to mute my phone. Always something. <laughs> it's busy, busy week. I'm trying to get this recording done real quick uh, before I have to work late tonight. I'm trying to uh, get about this 20 minutes recording in just real quick to keep the flow going so I can have these episodes out every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So it was at this point, distracted by my phone, that I forgot to show the numbers later. So I'm going to put the numbers up now. What we ended up with was uh, about 110,000 liters of wheat and 124,000 liters of soybean. So the soybeans should bring some pretty good money next year. Those are the numbers. Back to the video. So where was I? Oh yeah, crops. So crops are doing well. But I did, uh, I did some figuring, I did some measuring, and we can support 100 head on the pasture that I have. I was kind of surprised, but I had more grass over there than I thought. So we don't even have to buy uh, more land to support the larger herd. Which is good. So a tentative plan that I've been mulling over is to see if I can find a buyer for field 3. Uh, which would give me a ton of working capital. Uh, we could we could upgrade some equipment and just be sitting sitting pretty for years. I do need to pay attention to what I'm doing here, though. Just dump straw right in the middle of my straw. And, uh, you know, get bigger mowers just so it'd be a lot easier to work than with the small equipment. So I'm kind of contemplating that. I'm going to put put some feelers out and see if we can get a buyer maybe for field three. And just kind of concentrate on cows. You know, maybe work field one. Possibly field two, depending on what we need. Because I just, I can't make the crops profitable. Although, if we do sell, we sold field three. Might be able to get enough bigger equipment that we could make one, two, and four profitable. But my first priority would be cows and making sure we have all the equipment to support those. So, we'll see what next year holds. We're going to get kind of batting down the hatches for the winter here. Get everything put up that we need. I'm going to try to get all this straw in I can. But I don't want to use all day doing straw. Because we've basically got enough straw. Next year, year and a half here. Thought I'd get, uh, oops, another 10 bales or so. On top of what I've already baled. And then we'll start hitting the hay. Hitting the grass over there. Because we would need uh, 84 bales each of hay and silage, and I think it was 42 bales of straw for 100 head. That's per year. So that's that's a lot of grass to cut. Uh, I don't. So that's like 100. And, just call it 160. It would be 100. And, yeah, 168 bales. 
That's more, I think, than we've ever got off the grass I have. So I don't know if I would need to plant one of these fields in grass, possibly, to make up for that. And of course, if I planted, like, say, field one here in grass and use the cow manure to fertilize it, we would get a lot more grass than just the field grass. So I don't know, we got a, I got a lot of things to think about, but uh, I'm thinking I don't want to farm field three again. Unless we had a lot of equipment, and I just, I can't afford the equipment right now. So I think field three is going to go if I can find a buyer. Uh, then we'll have a lot of working capital to figure some other things out. So that's the tentative plan. Right now, though, it's all about straw. Let me get another two bales popped out. And then I'm going to go start mowing. Mowing some grass and get as much grass in as I can. Just to make sure I make it through the winter. I, I counted the hay bales and the salads bales and I, I'm good, I think. But I'd like to have a little bit of a buffer. Just in case. Of course, if I had some working capital, I might look into one of those newfangled square balers. Or maybe a round baler that has a pre-chamber. I don't know if they even make such a thing. But it would be nice to just keep moving. Not have to stop. Uh-oh. Not have to run over my bales. Yeah, let's get down on this next track. Well, that's actually 10 bales we popped out, isn't it? Let's empty the baler out and we'll call it good. Then, of course, I need to transport all these bales. Or they will rot away in the rain that's coming. But what I might do is wait, get the hay in. Because I can wrap the silage bales. Get the hay in. And then if I have time, I'll work on the straw. Because I should, in theory, have time tomorrow. It's not going to... I don't think it'll rain in the morning. It tends to rain in the afternoons. So we could probably work on getting straw in tomorrow morning. But that's a lot of straw to get in. So let's go get hooked up for some hay. I think I'll start on this field here. It's nice and square, the one here by fields one and two. I had a bigger mower set up. I would have Fred follow me around with the uh, rake. But we just have the little mower, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, where was the mower? It's there, so I can't put the baler in. Because that would block the mower. So I will park the baler right here. Whoa! Let's get our little mower hooked up. Try not to run over everything. A little bit of a jumbled mess in here. And let's see if we can get out of here without knocking anything over. Pass the rake. Pass the other rake. Yeah, we're not going to be able to turn, so we'll have to turn this way. Back up. Uh, I almost need my weight on here. What do I do with my weight? I think we'll be okay once it's folded in. 
just get to it. It's going to be uh, light here in about another half hour. We'll just go ahead and mow with the dew on. It'll dry eventually. I wanted to just follow the ditch this time. I usually don't go down this far. Be careful because I can't see super far out ahead of me. I kind of remember how this field goes. A little bouncy down here. This probably means we're going to bounce the mower over stuff. I'm just going to go around this tree because we won't be able to get back in there very easy with the rake anyway. Should go so much faster with a big uh, mower setup. Especially if I could get uh, Fred hired to follow me with the rake. If I had the big twin and front motor or mower setup, rake following me behind, that would cut out a step plus go faster. So all this straw over here will just rot and or get cultivated into the field, I think. If I even have time to cultivate, I'll have to see how the time goes. Don't want to be messing around in the field when they're wet, and it looks like we've got about three days three days of rain ahead, which would be the last three days of autumn. And then we got snow the first two days of winter, so weather is not going to be our friend, I don't think. Come right over to the field here. Just follow where I've mowed. See there, we kind of bounced over some of the grass. Should have went a little slower. daylight. Power up the hill, T6. And do it. We'll do 18 on the flat. Not going uphill, though. Just a little too much for it. going to cut through here so we can eventually square this off. I like nice, nice straight lines. Goes a lot faster that way. Got a little quiet there just driving. Thinking about work. 
got to work late tonight because my co-worker's incompetent. It sucks, but such is life. I'm recording this on a Friday, Friday afternoon. Normally it'd be like, yeah, Friday. Yeah, I got to work late later tonight because, yeah. Co-worker. One of my co-workers, yeah, he's, uh, he's pretty incompetent and he causes me a lot of extra work. So I'm going to drive in circles and get this mode. <laughs> I think I'll just call the episode here. Uh, we might bring it in next episode with some, some raking and bailing and stuff. I'll see. I know I've done that on camera quite a bit before. We'll just, uh, we'll see how much time I have for recording and when I can get this done. But uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to keep on mowing and I will catch you all in the next one. Take care.